hello everybody it's another day and uh just after work right now today is just gonna be a pretty pretty easy job it's kind of leveling out a, a ceiling that i did it was actually in the, the video the short that i just posted before this video and uh actually hanged the sheetrock taped it mudded it myself finish coated it and today just leveling out the ceiling because my knockdown guys are gonna spray knockdown and if you don't level it out good and there's gonna be humps which will be bad and you don't want those humps it's like a it looks really bad I mean you look at the ceiling there's gonna be like a hump like you like a bump it, and it's just kind of it looks ugly so the way to get rid of that when you're patching in the ceiling is making sure that you're fully uh, leveling it all out. So just pulled up to the coffee shop, <laughs> like this one YouTuber says. It is. I mean, it's basically a coffee shop. It has all the the uh, coffee machines and stuff. But yeah. I just pulled up to the job site. Let's get to work. Mm. Yep, so with the ceiling here, fixed it, patched it. There was like a whole bunch of opening areas. I patched it with sheetrock, taped it, mudded it, first, second coat. But it's still not level, you know. So I'm gonna just take it out today and just make it nice and level. But this is finish coat already. I completed the finish coat. It's just skimmed this whole area out. That yeah, looks good. I'm about to start. You know, I sanded everything down. And now uh, I mixed up that 45 minute and I'm gonna get up there and work. Here's the next day and actually ceilings are done already. They're sprayed with fog. I did more touch-ups around the whole area. They sprayed it down. And I just want to explain a little bit of what fog is. Fog, it's a new like, technology and uh, with ceilings and it's like a level five. It has like a level five finish. So it's actually really nice, even with older houses. If you scrape the popcorn, maybe it's really nice to just fog it. Even if it bleeds through, go like the, the yellow, little yellowness. It still really levels out the whole area. And then after fog, you spray knockdown, and it just, it's just I, I, perfect, really nice quality, you know? Really nice finish. But there was a crack, which is nice actually after fog. You can actually take a light and look through the ceiling, and you'll see cracks. That's just not dry yet, but. There's a crack right here that I fixed, which is nice because you want to fix that crack before spraying knockdown. Otherwise, you get into some real problems, actually. And then another thing that I wanted to say with fog, how you spray fog. Maybe later on in the, in the videos, I'll show you guys how to spray it, actually. But you have, it's like a hose. It's like painting almost. 
is an extension on your on your gun it's, and they the people that I use they have a truck so they a box truck and they bring your hose in here and then they just spray it like this I used to actually spray fog as well but you spray it and you go by section so you do half of it and then turn around and then go and then finish it that way but it's actually pretty easy but you do everything you know get all the closets everything and it actually takes about 30 minutes to spray this whole level so very fast and professional very professional looking and uh, yeah after this fog that was sprayed then today actually the knockdown guys are gonna come there at probably after 4 p.m. and spray knockdown so basically you spray the knockdown with the spray same concept as fog but you got a bigger hose that they have in their box truck and then uh, you wait like 30 minutes so it just sets a little bit and then you take these rubber uh, squeegee things whatever you call them rubber uh, spatulas or whatever I'll show you guys later how to do it but and then you just feather the whole room go one way and then the other way and it's perfect but the, the the trick is to wait around like 30 minutes so it sets just a little bit so when you're uh, feathering the